Okay, so welcome to um, this tutorial. I'm going to show you some of the features of this um, Android um, TV dongle. Uh, first of all, I just want to show you the settings, um, the Wi-Fi options here. Um, in a second, you will uh, see um, the list of um, devices available. Uh, so we are connected to the network. Um, the other thing is worth to look at is the output settings. We just want to make sure that the output type is uh, HDMI and the resolution is uh, the one that um, um, is uh, fitting our uh, TV screen. Um, the storage uh, available on this uh, device um, is uh, 2 gigabytes. Um, part of this uh, storage is um, currently occupied by apps is about 45 uh, megabytes um, so that's about the settings so if I click on this icon we go to the home page and uh, I think the most interesting app is obviously the browser app um, we can uh, click on browse and I've bookmarked the BBC website um, it's Google Chrome, so it works uh, like uh, the, the normal browser you have on, on your computer. Uh, here are some browser options. You can refresh the page, you can uh, uh, share the page, um, and you can bookmark the page like that, and you can add to your bookmarks, or you can add to the home screen as I did. So if I uh, go back on the home screen you can see the shortcut there I've done another shortcut for Love Film Love Film at the moment they haven't got a, um, an Android app so you need to stream via uh, the website uh, what you do you just sign in here That's it. Takes a little while to put up. Um, another interesting um, feature is here. Uh, here you can access your apps. Um, so let's say we want to download a Netflix app. And what we do, we go to Play Store, um, click Continue, and we obviously we need to accept. Uh, terms and conditions and once here we will search for Netflix that's it and it's the first result is a free app We hit install, accept and download, and here we go, it's downloading. If you go to this page, we see all our downloads. Um, we can also set up the um, allow automatic um, updating if, um, if they release a new uh, version of the app. Uh, we don't have to do it. Um, so once he's, uh, he's been downloaded, um, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's getting installed into the device. Uh, by default, it gets installed on the internal storage. If we do have um, an SD card connected to the USB port, then the uh, device, um, then the, the, the app can, can be installed on, uh, on the SD card. Uh, so he's uh, installing at the moment. Uh, once it is uh, successfully installed, you will see uh, an icon on our uh, on our screen. Um, bear in mind, this is an HD uh, streaming app, so you uh, you need to have a quite good internet connection in order to stream HD. If uh, here we go, and that's uh, and here we need uh, to log in. Um, other features. Um, the device 
He's obviously got um, Gmail by default installed. Um, he was trying to to log into Gmail. Um, I think it was, yeah. So he's got a calendar, a calculator, a clock, downloads, an email, client. Uh, obviously he's got a more small manual. He's got Flash Play already installed. Uh, you can install um, uh, apps, games, anything you like, anything you 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 can find on the App Store is something that uh, you can install. Every now and again you get this message. Um, what you have to do is just go to the settings is a uh, is a a problem that uh, Google Store has got at the moment. Um, so if you go in uh, into the app section, you click on Google Play Store, and then you do uninstall updates. Some of these uh, updates they uh, um, they kind of compromise the. Um, starting up of the app. Uh, storage. Yeah. And that's it. It's, uh, it's a bit less now. So you see the app set. Uh, it was 45 before, now it's 79. Uh, and I think I've kind of covered everything I wanted to do. Um, thanks for uh, listening and um, uh, see you next time.